Hey guys, a few reminders for you new traders out there. Number one, always, always, always use the stop limit or stop loss to protect your downside so you can never lose too much. Only play with what you can afford to lose and definitely not money you need over the next six months to live, okay? And also right now in this environment where it's volatile, you wanna control your position size and make sure to spread out your dollar cost averaging into several investments. Instead of dumping it all in at once, spread it out into five different installments. So if you wanna put 5,000 in, you put 1,000 in. You know, what if you wanna do every week or whatever, however you wanna do it, everyone's system is different, but I would spread it out in case the stock goes lower, you always have dry powder on the side, right, to buy more of that stock, okay? That's one thing I've learned is don't dump it all in, no matter what, always have a little bit, okay, on the side for if something goes lower. So those are some good tips that will help you. We, we know we're in volatile times right now, a lot going on. Right now, it's gone from bad news is good news to bad news is bad news. We're seeing if we see too much weak data, right? Way worse than expectations, that's not going to be good. So for in order for this rally to get back on track now, we're going to need to see some data that comes out that's not as weak as expected. So maybe just slightly weaker or even in line now is okay. That will get the market to realize that they overreacted to our immediately thinking recession after a couple data reports, okay? So we need to see more. I do believe stocks will bounce back. I don't know if it'll be Monday or Tuesday or until new data comes out, but just hang tight, guys. Be patient. That's the key right now. If you're gonna be buying this, you gotta extend your time horizon a little bit because it's going to be choppy for the month of August until we get into September, until we get to that interest rate cut officially.